Bill Clinton emerged from Epstein's plane to give us a master class on leadership and a bunch of nonsense. Take a look. If you want to lead something, start by saying, this is what I care about. This is what I want to do and why I think you should care about it and you should want to help. Hardly a day goes by that I don't think how fast my life has flown. How I remember is if it were yesterday, the first day I became president. Hardly anything worth doing can be done alone. This is a particularly disorienting time for billions of people in the world. You've got major uncertainties about what's gonna happen in the years ahead. At a time like that, you really need good leadership skills. And you need people whose goal it is to pull people together, not drive them apart. People need to feel the potential to create a better tomorrow. This class is unlike anything I've ever done. I'll be teaching skills I developed and used in very challenging leadership positions. And I hope that those skills will help you in your personal and professional lives. You'll learn how to work with people you don't agree with, <laughs> may not even like, and how to mediate conflicts. I don't believe being nice is inconsistent with being tough and smart. You gotta be tough as nails with your tender heart. So the video is actually about twice as long as what you just saw. And I kid you not, the entire time, he's just spewing platitudes. It's platitudes and cliches and nonsense. If you want to lead, say, this is what I care about, and then do it. My life moved really fast. Yeah, Bill, we all feel that way. There's actually a mathematical reason why that is. I'm not, I don't have a math brain enough to describe it effectively, but like, the more you age, the more time feels like it speeds up. Hardly anything worth doing can be done alone. This is a disorienting time. You need good leadership. You should come together. Don't go apart. Okay? You need hope to create a better tomorrow. Be nice, but be tough and smart. What are you, reading a fucking fortune cookie? Like, that's all, that's all he's got. That's all he's got. Just, I'm going to say really nice flowery things. I'm Bill Clinton. I'm, I'm in favor of good things and I'm against bad things. I'm Bill Clinton. Okay, dude. Okay. Talk about how many times you're on Epstein's plane for us. We appreciate it. Um, so, Thomas Frank has given us the ultimate breakdown of the Bill Clinton presidency. Um, I want to read read for you from an article where or an interview where he really laid it out. He said the following, quote, NAFTA, the Crime Bill of 1994, welfare reform, the deregulation of banks and telecoms, and the balanced budget, all of them, every single one, were longstanding Republican objectives. And th that was Bill Clinton's top five achievements. His top five achievements were right-wing achievements. NAFTA is the free trade bill, which just gutted middle America and outsourced so many well-paying jobs. The crime bill locked up many non-violent offenders. So things that shouldn't be crimes, they considered crimes, and they threw the book at these people. Uh, welfare reform gutted welfare. I think that's a terrible thing. Uh, the deregulation of banks and telecoms. Don't even get me started on that. That's the main reason why we have... Uh, tiny number of giant corporations that give us all of our information um, and the deregulation of banks Glass-Steagall uh, excuse me, Graham Leach Bliley which repealed Glass-Steagall um, made it so that you no longer have a separation of commercial banking and investment banking. So it used to be when you go put your money in the bank you felt like it was relatively safe and they were making safe investments with it so you're good. They got rid of that wall of separation. Now you go invest in or you go put money in your bank and they'll invest in all sorts of derivatives and casino capitalist shit and it can just tank the whole system and you lose all your money. Bill Clinton brought us this. He brought us this. And the balanced budget amendment, or and it wasn't an amendment, excuse me, it, he did balance the budget. Um, that is something that the right said they care, you know, we care about this so much. Now, and by the way, he, pro he largely was able to do it just because he was in the internet boom. So, the economy, the tech sector of the economy really took off and that helped him to be able to balance the budget. But what that means is you also have to cut back on social spending 
in order to balance the budget, and that's exactly what Bill Clinton did. Uh, you can say the only half decent thing he did, or one of the half decent things he did, is he raised that top marginal tax rate back up a little bit. Uh, good, I'll give credit where it's due. But for the most part, look, the point is, you have the Republican Party, they are Republicans, and you have the Democratic Party, they are Republican light. Bill Clinton ushered in that era. He's the New Deal Democrat. It's him and the Democratic Leadership Conference. They got together and said, hold on now, why do the Republicans raise so much more money than us? And the answer is very simple. Republicans raise money from every big industry, every corporation under the sun. They take money from them, and then they do their bidding. Democrats, to that point, had largely raised money through from specific special interest groups, like unions and teachers and lawyers. Um, and it was Bill Clinton and these new Democrats, as they called themselves, that said, no, we're going to get in on that corporate money too. So he is largely responsible for the degradation of the Democratic Party. So... Terrible president. Um, really helped destroy the system. And now he's given us a master class on leadership. I don't know, Bill. I think you should go back into hiding. Because whenever anybody sees you now, they don't even think of the policy things I just laid out. All they think of is Epstein's plane. And that's not unfair at all. Hey, y'all. Do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.